So, hello, my name is Dominic, here at CineGear um, at Panavision. We are looking at Panavision's new DXL 8K camera. Uh, we have a whole bunch of new features on this camera and hopefully everybody will enjoy what we've got to uh, show off. Uh, 8K sensor is 41 millimeter by 21 and a quarter millimeters. We have a, basically a 46.3 uh, millimeter diagonal, so slightly larger than the uh, VistaVision frame. This allows us to use all of our large format lenses. Uh, we are also going to have on this camera, the it's really the first sensor that can do 4K anamorphic, uh, which is absolutely one of those the most amazing things that our DPs have been wanting to do for those jobs like Netflix, Amazon, uh, and uh, DirecTV. So, uh, some of the other key features on this. Uh, we This camera is completely modular for us. We have a, a module on the back for power input. We have an SDI module on the side of the camera. We have comms module, audio module, and a fizz module. All of those things can change as we see fit. Um, as we get client feedback, things will start to change on that body and the look of the body uh, can alternate. If a job needs audio, we can actually interchange this flat panel out to the audio inputs. If uh, our clients want to use, not use a precedent and want to use, say, an area wireless or a C-Motion wireless or RT-Motion, we will be able to eventually swap out the side FIS module and pop those modules on so those clients can use that. And this particular camera right here that we're showing off, we're showing off the uh, internal motors that we have built in into the Panavision 70 series lenses. So. These lenses were debuted last year, and we've been renting those lenses on Alexas, uh, on uh, Reds, and uh, uh, F55s. With that in mind, we've never activated the motors that are inside those, which are in all of our 70 series lenses. So here we have a Preston modified MDR. This MDR here will be uh, ported over, and all the electronics will be moved inside of this. But this is allowing us to see a camera now with no external motors driving the lenses. This has been a really kind of a cool feature. This also allows us to now quickly port this camera from studio mode over to Steadicam and not have to rebalance everything due to the fact that motor movement or motor placement has changed. The bottom of the camera is actually a patented proprietary function as well. The camera is sitting on a 19 mm rod base, but it's also sitting on a Steadicam dovetail. I can unlock this camera right now, slide it off the base plate, leaving the base, the 19 mm rods, and the map box in the studio function and move it over and slide it right onto the Steadicam rig. So again, we're working on ways of making this camera as modular uh, as possible. At the same time, we're trying to make it so that it is as user friendly and as toolless as we possibly can make it. Now when it comes to image quality, Light Iron Color, who was developed by our Light Iron Company, has actually done a great job about going for the most aesthetically pleasing color palette that you can can off of these sensors. The idea of this is actually coming up with really strong skin tones, really good and rich skin tones, as well as being able to reproduce all the tertiary colors. With that in mind, when we're looking at greens or yellows or oranges, you have a lot of other hues in those colors. We are working very hard to uh, reproduce all of those colors in that. So when you look at the footage of this, either on set or in the DI suite, you're actually seeing exactly what you thought you were going to capture. We've also worked very hard on this. This camera is a 800 ISO native sensitivity. And we're working with our DPs. Some of them may feel that it might be a little bit more sensitive than that. But right now, we're feeling very confident at 800 ISO. Frame rate wise, we're actually able to capture 60 frames up in the full frame 8K. And if we go to a 240 aspect ratio on that sensor, we can capture up to 75 frames per second. So another feature that we have on this is we actually have um, menu panels on both sides of the camera. So an assistant and an operator can actually be changing menus at the same time on this camera. And naturally, if you both happen to be changing the same menu at the same time, whoever en entered last is a uh, winner of that uh, menu choice. So if you need any other information about this camera, please visit panavision.com and you can find our DXL uh, link right there from our homepage. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.